Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their, t but their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit was broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Here I am! Strike the Earth! Let's go! Okay, so, I have played this game before, once again, because I'm just kind of replaying games that I've already played, due to, once again, losing my progress on everything. So, why not play Shovel Knight? I mean, th I, this is kind of a break I need after doing the worst shot challenge in Cuphead. I need something that's, you know, easy to do. <laughs> so, here we are, I'm playing Shovel Knight right now, okay? Okay, I don't think anyone's going to complain, because everyone likes this game. So, whatever. Phase Locket is the most overpowered thing in the game, and yes, I am going to buy it, because why shouldn't I? I'm just trying to do a casual playthrough. I'm not trying to do any challenge runs or anything like that. No, I literally just want to play the game. That's it. No complications. No bells, no whistles, no strings attached. Literally just me in this game playing it. Okay? That's what's going on. Also, what's going on is that there's a big dragon here, but... Yeah, I just know how to do that. I, I don't know why the dragon is spinning bubbles. Don't know what's up with that. Is that a thing that dragons do? Because I don't think so. If, if Grim Matchstick did that, I wouldn't have to... Oh, for a second I thought I could hit myself. If Grim Matchstick did that, then I wouldn't have to worry nearly as much about his fight. Then it, wait, he did sort of spit bubbles, bubbles with fire in them, but, you know, he sort of sp spat. Damn it, now I can't just say that it would be good if he did shoot bubbles. And, yeah, obviously I should take the music sheets, because that's one way to get money. I mean, there's a lot of money in this game, and I might as well just try to get as much money as I can, so. Here we go. I can just sell this. Well, I have the music in the game turned off at the moment, once again. As usual, I'm just going to ed edit it in later so that it's not cut jarringly. But hey, uh, I guess it's still money. <laughs> so, despite the fact that I can't just ask the guy to play the music except for the fact that I can, just he won't play it because the volume is turned off so I can't hear it. I mean, whatever. Oh, no. Slime, get over here. Slime. Damn it. Yeah, there we go. I am smart. I know what I have to do. Uh, I mean, let's kind of play this before. But I, but I was referring to the fact that I figured it out. So, even an unconventional way of doing it. Yeah, I might as well just have the turkey. I don't know if I can go back at this point. I know that's a checkpoint, so... Yay. No slime. Yeah, usually what I just do in this game is jump on the enemies with the shovel. It's so much easier than just swiping at them. Unless, of course, you get the, uh, armor that lets you just sort of hover in the air by continuing to swipe. Which, by the way, I now know that that secret boss that you get the armor from uh, is from God of War. Y yes, Kratos. He's in this game. 
Isn't that cool? There's a skull key, right? Yes. I remember these things. I... I guess my memory for how the level can Shovel Knight work is really good for some reason. Oh, there's a carrot. I didn't remember that. You know, everything in this level is taught expertly. Like, the fact that there are enemies behind the grass there, so you know that the foreground can obscure your vision in some places. I like that, and also the fact that, once again, uh, you don't stop bouncing down unless you swipe, so if you're just frustrated figuring out how these things work, if you just mash all over the place on your controller, you'll, you'll end up, uh, getting, no, no, back up, back up. Oh, no! I died. In the first level, no less. You blame me, I was trying to make sure that the gold he dropped wouldn't just fall into the pit. So, ah, uh, then I fell into the pit and I dropped my gold. Except it floated. Because that's how money works in this universe. If you die in an alternate timeline, I guess, you just drop your money. No! That's what- Oh, I got an apple. Okay, well, my health is good. Uh, I also want to get the fishing rod so I can just revive my health. You know, that's another very important, uh, was it a trinket? I don't remember what the items are called. Maybe they're just called, they're just called items, right? No, relics! Okay. Well, I mean, I already knew how they worked, and I know that. Really, you just want face luck and, and, uh, the fishing rod. But Chaos Orb is also a very good weapon, so I'm, I'm probably also going to get that. And then, you obviously, the Truple Chalices. Th th that's uh, That much is obvious, though, because you can pretty much just use them as full health revives, which is really the only use you're gonna use the chalice for out of the three juices. I mean, why would I not just use it, <laughs> you know, to fully heal myself and get all of my mana back? Is, like, who, who, who balanced this? That's way too overpowered. This is the end of the level. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess I forgot about the fact that he sounds like that, so maybe was, STEAL MY SHOVEL! I don't know. Maybe I should have made him sound like that. But... Oh, he's laughing again. No, oh, no! Damn it. Ah! Yes, he's gonna... No. There we go. That's what that's what we want to do when he does that. No. Yeah. Oh shit. No. This is a kind of difficult first boss. I'm not going to lie. Shovel Knight doesn't hold back. They still want to say the game is that hard because once again, once you get the phase locket, which is in the second level or third, depending on how you want to play the game, the order. Uh, it's pretty easy because of how overpowered the phase lock it is. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Just smack him with the shovel. Ooh, 5,012 gold. I, I don't remember how good that is. I could probably get like two meal tickets out of it though, so that's good. Oh yeah, here's the dreams. Good way to characterize Shovel Knight without actually showing his face at any point in the game, except for the fact that he might be a catfish. We don't know about that, no. We have no- we don't know. It's like a conspiracy. We- we... 
people aren't fully aware. We need to know if Shovel Knight is a catfish. Wait, feat accomplished, only you. I don't know what that is. Does that just beat one level? I mean, I did it. I left my farm. So. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging their swords around. Oh, uh, that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and this is the guy that... Hail Traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire reparatus lay scattered around the land. If you ever find the music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa! You have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Yes. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth. Ah. Ostinato trumpet triplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Oh, that's right. You have to buy them from Asriel Dreamer. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Yes. Oh, it's only 1,000. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a meal ticket? Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetite and pardon the mess. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. Samson. Uh, I don't even know what that was. Okay, that's the Enchantress I don't have. Uh, okay, this is is this where I get the fishing rod? Psst, hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Okay, this is where I get the fishing rod. Yes, I do want that. I know how, to, I know how it works. Hello, fish friend. I'll hail the Truffle King. Bye. Wow, I have enough to buy both chalices. Dude, this is... I'm loaded! <laughs> I, I'm, like, never going to die after the first level. And then he... Broccoli Lake. And here's... Yeah, that's Mona. How much does it cost to play your game? I suppose a peaceful solitude is too much ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need 100 gold first. Yes. Alright, I'll conjure up some things and... You can hit them toward the targets for points, okay? Okay. Oh, oops. Okay, I don't know how well I'm doing. Whoa! Maybe I'm getting gold for each point? Maybe one gold? Maybe there's a multiplier? I don't know. Why not just... I mean, I'm doing well, I think. I missed a few of them at the beginning, but after that point, I really didn't have any problems. How did I do? 207. You got 207 points. Well, call me a friend. An accomplished juggler. Oh, I, I got... I don't know how much that was, but... I got at least 500 because of the uh, music sheet, so that's good. I am perfectly capable of just, I guess, giving this guy money again. Get <laughs> the music sheets. Whoa! You have two music sheets? Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Spin Your Bottle! The client's only reaction was, oh, it's okay, I guess. Whatever. Sorry, was it not brooding enough for you? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Yep, okay, there's a horse. <laughs> I am gonna have to sit through that, uh... Oh, there's another music sheet over here, isn't there? Isn't there also a feat for, like, bouncing on this ring five times consecutively? Let me see. Maybe there wasn't. Okay. And I know that there's no money in that stack there. Yes, yay, there is, oh, there is a music sheet up here, and there's, uh, 
chest. Well, I have to go back to the <laughs> bard again. What's he gonna say this time? Wait, what? Did you just whistle at me? Oh, you got a pretty face! You should come visit often. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, you have a music sheet! Please accept 500 gold as a reward! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Posterel! Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Truple Ponds first. I mean, I have yeah, gonna talk to this guy. I have to sit through his dance though, which is probably just the game's way of saying, "Hey, speedrunners, guess what? You're not gonna be able to do this." Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me! I sense a truple chalice. I can fill it with magical icor. That's pronounced icor. Choose your icor wisely. Okay. Yeah, why would I not just use this one? Very well, mortal. What of your second chalice? I also want Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Yay, we get to watch him do some dancing. Except for, except you don't, because I'm just gonna skip this as to not make it filler. Yo, Trouble King Pog? Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return thou hast need of my aid again. Campus Truffle Acolyte. I don't think I pronounced that correctly. Well, anyway, here we go. To the Lich Yard. This is going to be our first member of the Order of No Quarter. That we fight. Specter Knight. Also one of the best characters in the game. So, there are multiple campaigns. Basically, this game is multiple games. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, because they pretty much just completely made new games as just updates to to uh, the main game. So really, this is like five games in one. It's four, but there's also a, like a fighting sort of thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it was five, okay? If you want me to play any of the other, of the other ones, I will. That's a bomb, right? Yes! Oh, I have to juggle the bomb over there. Ow. Oh no! Get over here! No! Yes! I made it anyway! I guess I- Why am I the most resourceful knight in all the lands? Yeah, die. Yeah, ghost. Go away, ghost. Ghost away. <laughs> no! There's another ghost! Get out of here. Dematerialize. Oh, that's right. Um, big skeleton that just kind of jumps. Do you know the easy way to kill this guy? I know what it is. Just do this. That's a trick I'm going to use on a boss later, by the way. Uh, the easy way to kill that guy. Not kill him, because he survives. The game. Fuck, he's back. No! I messed it up. Okay, well, whatever. I can just keep going. Oh no, shit! I accidentally used my uh, chalice! Eh, don't worry about it. I can just refill it later. The guy the guy uh, gives the chalices for free. As in the icor is what I mean. Uh, what a bad time to accidentally. There's literally a checkpoint in the next room. <laughs> oh well, at least I know if I take damage in the- There was- oh my god, there was a turkey there too! Oh, was that- was that- shit. Was that a bomb? Was that a bomb in the dish over there? Sorry, I keep thinking I can jump on the ladders. But in reality, I cannot. Yeah, that is a bomb. Okay, yes, there we go. Just do not jump on the ladders, because- you will get killed if you decide to do so, Papyrus. Yes! I'm a genius. Okay. I guess I can use when the money shows up to tell where I am. Yes, there we go. Okay, I can fumble around in the dark just fine. I guess I have a good sense of object permanence. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, can, can that guy get crushed? Oh no, my money! My money got crushed. Oh, is this? That's right. Can you uh, get truples by fishing? Don't they? Don't they give you a chalice? You can't choose what it is, but don't they give you a chalice? Yes! Wait, don't eat me, knight! The Trouble King demands me to share his bounty with you! All hail the Trouble King! The king of fish and fruit! Long may a stem grow! Become invincible for 10 seconds! Great for those tough spots. That's good! Once again, still not as good as a full heal, but... I'll take it. 10, 10 seconds is a good amount of time, but... I mean, once I get the phase locket, I'm... Once again, I'm just going to use the phase locket. The phase locket is broken. More frogs. There are frogs everywhere in this level. I don't know what frogs have to do with liches, but okay. Well, what's up with that, anyway? Also, I'm almost to the phase locket. Oh! Oops. Didn't mean to fall there. No matter, I can just go this way. Yep, okay. Is that a bomb here? Yes, it is. I mean, whatever. I, I, I can use the phase locket to phase through these frogs. Okay, Chester, how much is it? In the village or out of the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. What I see? Yes. Give me that. It's brief invincibility, basically. It doesn't last each of the... E oh, shit. Each time you use it, the effect doesn't last very long, but... It basically just saves you from getting hit, so... Is this a turkey? Yes, it is! Okay, good. I don't even have to worry now. There's a chest! Oh no! Ghost! Leave me alone. That's... That's cool, hitting the skull into the ghost will, uh... Make him phase. It'll phase him, if you will! Okay, buddy. Get over here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, can I go? Can I go on top of here? Yes, I remembered that. That's cool. I guess it really pays to know what game you're playing, huh? I got a goldfish. Literally. Okay, well that's good. I'm still, I'm still in good health, so I, I really am not worried about. Damaged at the moment. Okay, down here we go. Yes, that's a troll hole. That's what I would call it. Good. Now I can just do this. Again. Just use the ceiling to increase the speed at which I can do damage. Why not? It's a really broken maneuver. The good thing is. Uh, it's, you can't do it in many areas in the game, so it's not like you can just stop yourself from playing. I mean, I use the phase locket, so I really can't make fun of people who pretty much just don't play the game, you know? But, whatever. And... go. Okay, oh no, there's a ghost. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> no, there's another ghost! Is it... okay, this is where we fight Spectre Knight, right? Yay! Okay, I made it. Let's go! By the way, that, that, uh, top of that has collision, so... That's interesting. Okay! Hello, Spectre Knight. This is no place for the living, mortal! You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved shield, Knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk about phantoms. From phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life so that I may take yours. Don't worry. I mean, this guy absolutely kicked my ass the first time I played the game because I had no idea how the phase locket worked. But he's a pretty easy boss. So, the fact that I did so poorly against him, dying, I died like 20 times, is pretty embarrassing to mention, but I might as well, right? It's interesting. Okay, so... Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. 
come here. No? I mean, I guess you can't if you don't want to. When are you just gonna charge at me again? No? Okay. I mean, you don't have to. I really can't control how you work, but I can pretty- If I don't panic and if I just sit here and kind of wait for you to do a move, and also wait for one of your skeletons to spawn camp me, Oh, that's right. You do this. I forgot about this. This might be why I did so badly. Because it was hard for me to see where everything was. But then again... Was, I mean, I have the truth to tell us. I can just be invincible for 10 seconds if I want to. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. Not, not right now. I'm going to wait until I'm either at like one health or none health. But I'm just going to do it now. Just follow the guy. Yes! Oh, Shovel Knight, I'll get you next time! Yeah, I, I, I guess, killed the ghost. Okay, well, I'm going, I, oh, you know what, I have to do the dream sequence first. If he, if the dream even happens, if I, I can just shovel up the fireplace if I want to. Which I will, because that's how you get money. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't even have to do the dream. Okay. Well, once again, why should I not just do that? Well, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, but also off screen, I'm going to give. Oh, wait. What's that? I'm gonna get my chalice first. But I'm gonna see what that thing is. Oh, that's right. That's that ch little challenge. That for some reason, based up. That for some reason, despite being on that position of the map, is basically either the first level or King Knight's level. I'm going to do this. I guess it's like a it's like a blockade in Mario, where like the Hammer Brothers move around on the map, and then you just have to fight one of them if you touch them. Really annoying. Hammer Brothers are awful. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. I think everyone agrees that Hammer Brothers are the worst enemy in Mario, or at least in the original Mario game. I mean, there wasn't a map in the original Mario game, but like in Super Mario Bros. 3. Basically just 2D Mario, the Hammer Brothers are awful. They're not awful in 3D Mario, because you actually have another dimension to try to dodge their shit with, but... You know, it, 2D Mario, Hammer Brothers are awful, and they suck. And now I'm just going to give this guy his music back. Music Man! Okay. Whoa, you have two music sheets, magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found La Danse Macabre. Dead crowd tonight, says I. Lesson learned. Never crack jokes in the graveyard. Never ever. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. That's good. Uh, I... I'm going to increase my magic. You want more use out of your relics? Uh... Yes, of course. Uh, I can I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Yeah. Bring me up. Okay, then I'm gonna get a meal ticket. That's four thousand five hundred. Okay. And then I'm going to increase my magic again if I can afford it. And I'm going to be pretty good at this point. Oh, he gave me a bok a bok choy. Want for use out of your life? Yes. See, that wasn't that much. Yeah, just give me that potion. And I have a lot of magic. I have a lot of health, and I'm feeling good for the for the foreseeable future. I think I'm going to be doing well. Bye, bye, everybody.